I just wanted to, I just wanted to do a video where I would rant. Uh, this isn't, this isn't, this is kind of similar to drink some milk, but it's, it's different. The furthest you can go with these things are complain about them, and that's the lifestyle that everybody should have. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> anyway, there's a few things that I would like to talk about, and they are pretty much relatable to everybody. I think that they are funny, so I wanted to make a video about them. We're gonna start with the first few things that sick me off. Light! Light! He's got light! You may be wondering, Trey! How can you be pissed off at light? Well, simple. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, and I, I I try to look at it sometimes. Like, like, oh god damn it! I just did it. God damn it! You look at a light for a little bit, and then you're just completely blind for like five minutes, and it's like, bro, just let me. You're so beautiful. Let me look at you. Look. Boom. Blind ass. The heat outside. God. Just leave me alone. I have a fan pointed at me right now. Hold on, I need to adjust the I need to I need to put it on, on higher setting. I need to put it on Shut up, clock! See, now that pisses me off. Yeah, let's go see what the high is for today. What, what was the high? The high is 87. Right now it's 86 outside. Not inside, believe it or not. And it's sunny. Mostly sunny. <laughs> I'm getting hiccups just thinking about it. And if you're someone who's like, this is another thing that's me off. If you're someone who's like, oh, that's nothing. Then I, I hope, I hope you find a good movie to watch tonight, and and your your popcorn does not burn. It looks beautiful, beautiful as shit outside. And then I walk outside, and Thanos just comes and sucks out my soul. It's my. <laughs> Pause. God damn it. There's gonna be a fan fiction later down the line. I can I just know it. But if if Thanos could help me out and <laughs> wait wait <laughs> pause. <laughs> if Thanos could just help me and make snap away the goddamn heat outside. Uh located in the southern United States and has both terrestrial and aquatic biome. Areas of immediate elevation and oh moisture bro point is it's moist <laughs> God damn it pause. It's like humid moist hot and the air is so dense So like when you walk outside you just can't breathe. I can't I can't do it I can't do it first day like if there's a cold front from Canada. Thank you Canadians. I fucking love you Every time there's a cold front, I literally thank Canada personally. Like on on a spiritual level, I thank Canada. <laughs> it's so good because when you walk outside, it's like, <sighs> but not with me walking outside and about to die. I wanna I wanna go for a jog, be healthy. Nature is just like nah. I just had some G fuel, so I'm like freaking. <laughs> Here's another thing that pisses me off. Just conversation in general. I'm just gonna put that out there. Just conversation. Whenever you don't see somebody for a while, and then they're like, "Oh, so what are you doing now? You just finished talking about the college thing. You know, you know that college conversation. Oh, what are you going there for? You know, there's nothing better to have small talk about except for college. And they're like, "So what are you doing now? Now that you're finished." Uh. For those who don't know, you might not get what I'm talking about because we've never had really small talk, I guess. But 104 has been my life for the past year now. Year, year and a half, year and a quarter, something like that. And I don't know how to answer this question without like kind of saying what I'm about to do instead of telling them like, oh, I'm making YouTube videos right now because I'm about to just bleh it all out and we're going to be everywhere. And I don't know if it'll work out or not, but I'm going to try it. And and they're gonna be like, huh, as if I'm wasting my freaking time. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to them about this, right? They, I'm like really passionate about this YouTube stuff. And then they're like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. As if, as if like to, like, come on, wrap it up, wrap it up. Like, I don't have time to hear about your time wasting. Like, bro, it's, it's just, it's deeper than that, you f Oh my god. One day, one day, you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, I completely respect what he's doing. Oh yeah, and then you're gonna wanna hear everything about it. Alright, so, the next thing is bladder. 
do, do I do I even need to do I even need to expand on that at the worst times? It's like bro. I could be in line about to get the ps7 I'd be I'd be like getting the limited ed edition headphones. These headphones are everything They make you hear like like a uh, uh, a canines hearing power from across the field. Yeah, these like these shits are magnificent Magnifique. And then your bladder's like And you're like, yo, are you serious? <laughs> the next thing is knowing that I'll never know everything. Now I know this sounds preposterous. Expediometry. What's that word? Narcissistic. No, 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 it's relatable. Because it has to do with money, electronics, crypto, and politics. Knowing that I'll never understand these things, I'll, I, I fi I've finally come to the conclusion that I'm gonna just, I, I just kinda completely give up on like trying to understand it, which is bad. Cause I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'll just learn as I go. But like, I, okay. I lied. I'm not gonna completely give up on trying to understand it because I'll know that I'll, it's my nature to always ask questions. But if I'm in a conversation, I won't try to keep on asking questions and embarrassing myself. I'll just have this conversation with someone that I completely trust and like that I know that I can that I can trust. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna act as if this is like my last dying conversation that I need to have and understand your my politics and crypto. Okay? I'm not gonna keep trying. Okay, I don't give I don't give I have better things to try to try to accomplish in my life than get stressed out with you I'm gonna bleep out this video because this is literally a venting sesh. I need to bleep out I'm gonna make it funny people who don't think that toilets that like shoot up your butt like the water people who think those don't exist <sighs> Now see now that also pisses me off yeah. so you know those Japanese toilets where where like they shoot water up your butt to like clean it people will think those don't exist are you kidding me oh my god i automatically thought of something this grinds my freaking corn nut gears bro i'm telling you hold up so there are these types of there are the there the, there are these types of people in the world where okay so my my lips are chapped my lips are my lips are chapped. I'm on Accutane, get rid of the acne, my lips are chapped. Everything's dry. Everything's dry. Everything on the inside's dry, and everything that comes out is dry. Uh, I'm joking about that. I have this chapstick, okay? It helps. I used to use Aquaphor. No big deal. Cool. Aquaphor lip repair. It's great, by the way. If I were to be sponsored by them, I would freaking... Oh, dude, I freaking love... Aqu it, it works wonder. It helped out my tattoo. It helped out my face, my lips, everything. I remember I was talking to my friend. I was like, hey, yo, my lips are chapped. This was a while back. And my I was like, hey, yo, my lips are chapped. Uh, mm, I'm gonna put on some Carmex. I remember these. this used to work on, uh, when I was little. And they were like... Did you know that that's like the worst chapstick that you could possibly use? Bro, hold up. Let me let me make sense. Let me make let me make sense of this, okay? I don't care if you think it's bad. Like these people automatically you're like, "Oh, dude, I need some chapstick." Automatically. They think about what chapstick is good, what chapstick is bad. They have a fucking they they make a whole tier list of what chapstick is good, what chapstick is bad. I could be like, hey yo, I, I think I should buy a camera. And you're like, oh, I like this one. I think I've heard good things about this one, so I'm gonna get this camera. And they automa they're automatic—they're automatically like, even though they're completely uneducated in this fr freaking fact of the matter, they're like, oh no, that, that camera's bad. Just because I picked it out, it's like, oh, they have to think opposite of you. Or like, just because I think that I might be showing some interest in this one thing, they shoot me down and leave me with nothing. They leave me with nothing. <laughs> they're like, I'm like, okay, well, do you have any thoughts? They're like, I don't know, I'm not a camera guy. This is me off, dude. If you were in the desert, your lips are like almost non-existent. You need chapstick. And you had a choice between Carmex or nothing. Be my guest, pick nothing. I'm gonna use all of the Carmex even though I don't need it. I'm gonna rub it on my earlobes. Yeah, I just thought about that and it and it and it and I was putting on some chapstick and uh, I thought about it and my blood started boiling Last but not least opening a door. Why don't you ever say thank you still god damn it Okay, now guys, that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed if you have anything that like grinds your gears and or anything that clogs up your goddamn Essential oil diffuser. Let me know in the comments below subscribe leave a like for 104 uh, I can't wait to see you for tomorrow's video and I just salivated my bladder is uh <laughs>
I hope I managed to put a smile on your face and I hope that you guys have a great day. Make sure you message your friend and tell them that I stole their ping pong balls and a really valuable antique in their house. Tell them that, send them the link of this video and send that message to them at the same time. It'll be great. So, peace. Beep Tweebot. Or anything that clogs up your goddamn essential oiled, oiled fuck.